Okay, so I managed to get an RTX 5080, which I bought from Amazon, and it's been absolutely fine. Been using it for a couple of days now, except with the NVIDIA Broadcast app. So this app has recently been updated for 2.0. It's one of the cool things that NVIDIA are marketing about the new 50 series cards, and yet it's absolute trash. Now, don't get me wrong, some of the features here do work well but it just seems to be as buggy as anything, especially with virtual key light, which is supposed to be one of the new features for the 50 series cards. I've got it down here. Once I enable it, then a couple of things tend to happen. First off, yep, I'll get a warning right there. High GPU load, disable effects or close apps. Bearing in mind, I'm running one of their latest flagship cards and apparently this card isn't good enough to use this feature. And not only that, for some reason, every time this virtual key light mode is enabled, the card gives a horrendous coil wine. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I've tried to get it to replicate it in every other situation. I've got my games running with the highest settings, ultra mode settings with DLSS enabled and everything else, DLSS frame generation and it just will not give that coil wide, it's working fine. But the moment I enable this virtual key light feature in the NVIDIA Broadcast 2.0 app, it's there. It's not very loud, but it is noticeable. I did a quick search online and apparently I'm not the only one. A lot of people are having struggles with this version of the NVIDIA Broadcast app. And for some reason they've removed all of the sliders for the filters and you can either turn your settings on or off now with this new version, which just sucks. And I'm seeing some people saying that the GPU under stress uh, warnings to try and encourage people to upgrade to a 50 series card. Well, don't bother guys, because this is a 5080 and I'm still getting that warning. So upgrading ain't gonna help it seems. I really think Nvidia need to take this one back to the bug fixing stage and hopefully get it sorted because this just isn't good enough. But what do you guys think? Have you tried the Nvidia Broadcast 2.0 app? Personally, I think a few improvements need to be made before this should have gone public. But thanks so much for stopping by. If you're having issues, you're not the only one. There's actually a number of reports online that this is quite widespread. But yeah, hopefully you'll have a good day and NVIDIA will get this sorted soon. See you next time.